Well, you get to go first. We're gonna go swim with these gators back here. And um, <laughs> hopefully it works out. So these alligators that we're gonna be in here with today, guys, although we're in a captive situation, obviously this is a controlled situation. We're gonna do everything as safely as we possibly can. I want you to keep in mind, these are wild alligators. And I don't mean that just in the sense of they're wild animals. I mean, no, really, they came out of the wild. They're not raised in captivity. They're not raised here with us. They're not hand raised in any way. They did not spend their entire life here. Some of these guys have probably only been here for a couple of months. These are completely wild animals. But there are also ones that are here in captivity and a lot of these guys are very used to people and so they're very, very calm. The main one we're gonna work with is Casper. He's uh, sitting right up here. So we're gonna focus everything that we're doing on him because he's really nice and because he's the biggest one in there. He's a little bit under 10 feet. He's about 200, 250 pounds and he's super chill. We're gonna you know, pretty much leave all the rest of them alone. We're just gonna focus on Casper. Now, what are you going on over there? So this brings up a good point. One of the things that we don't do, we, we don't splash. We do not splash at all. You see how they all come in, checking it out? The gators don't typically see us as prey. We're a lot bigger than their normal food source. They don't usually attack people. If one of them was coming at you the way that you were to avoid getting bit, is from underneath. Uh, we're gonna have you guys wearing a weight belt. If you didn't bring one, I have an extra, so you're overweighted. I want you overweighted, because I don't want you floating at all. I don't want you to even have the ability to swim. So if you were to be attacked by an alligator in the water, if you were swimming and there's one coming up behind you, the best thing you can do is actually dive down, swim as far as you can towards the shore, come up, get a breath, do the same thing. An alligator can hold his breath up to six hours or more. There are some that argue it's more than that. Crocodilians have the strongest jaw pressure of any animal on the planet so far measured. When you look at their face, you see what looks like fat folds around the neck. That's solid jaw muscle. I think I covered just about everything. Uh, big one, no contact with the alligators. That's for two reasons. For one, safety. We can't have you trying to, like if he's going over your head, don't try to do the free willy and pet his stomach or something like that. We can't have you touching him because of safety. Also, legality. This is the only situation like this that exists in the US. And that's by very narrowly going between different regulations on wildlife. So one of the only ways we're able to do this is you can't touch them. There is no contact. I'm so glad I'm not first. I'm so glad. I'm, a, I'm genuinely scared right now. I actually am. They can, they can sense your heart like beating faster. You gotta get that under control. Like, I can hear it. I can, I can hear it going. Dun, 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 dun. Like I said before, I'd rather go surf <laughs> Mavericks than swim out there with those alligators. He said there's 11 of them. A human being with 11 alligators. Two humans, though. You'll be fine. You're fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on. Our heart down, so I'm pretty cold. No, I'm just scared to this. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I'm alive. What'd you think of that? Yeah, I think it's good again. Yeah? You like it? No, but let's do it again. Oh my god. That was horrific. I mean I've done some stuff that's scary in life. That was that was good. Alright, so let me get him. Let me just sit on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna send him right over you. I just want enough space that he can make it over you. Alright, let me go in. Let me see if I can get him to turn. The thing with him too is I don't really make him do anything. I just try to gently move him. So if he doesn't want to do it, we just wait and reset. Go ahead and see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That did not seem safe. <laughs> no, seriously, when he was coming at when he was coming over the top of me, I honestly thought he was just gonna turn and bite my head off. It was, it was, he's bigger than, than I thought. And it's, he has like claws. Right. Here, move, let him go by you. There you go. You're good, no, you're fine. The thing is they have a blind spot in front of the face. Um, but yeah, so keep that in mind that he can't actually see in front of his face. So if he's coming right towards you, you either have to move to the side or you have to go under. Okay, so he'll go directly into you, because he doesn't see you. Alright, I'm done now. Yeah. People are gonna think I'm an animal. So there's one in there. That one hissed. And then he was like, don't make a splash. 
And I freaking like jumped out and I was like, oh my gosh, I just made a splash, I'm gonna die. But that one that was coming after me, like that, there was one that was coming after me and then you push him away and then he would like swim back and want to come back at me. I think he wanted to get a little- trying to get around me, he wanted to. He wanted a little piece of me off. Yeah, that, that's not cool. Yeah, maybe we don't let that happen. I still, I still want to surf in my life. Am I gone? Yeah, no, you should probably go. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs> So, when I'm getting shots of you, you know, uh, keep in mind I am taking photos of you. So, like, your number one priority is to watch the alligator. Number two is don't like. Because <laughs> everybody does it. Like, you can point at him if you want, you know, but just like be aware I'm getting a photo of you. So, like, if he's going over your head, try to sit up a little bit. So, actually, if you come a little bit closer, sink down and kind of mimic what he's doing right now, it's a really cool shot. Do me a favor and keep that a little bit further away. Because remember, he can feel with the water like that. It's so. This <laughs> feet are so cool. That was a really good. Cool. It's awesome. He, he's so relaxed. Um, yeah, it's a little scary. But he's just so relaxed. It's I'd be more scared if the little one started like coming around. You can't make any judgments till the end. So I just got out of the water for swimming with the alligators for the first time. Um, it was surreal. The the gators are just gentle giants swimming along. Um, I loved it. I loved it. Like. My heart was racing in the beginning, not gonna lie, but you get in there and they're just so calm and Chris is just so gentle and plays with them like puppy dogs that it's very relaxing. But it was, it was amazing. I loved that.